Hello everyone, my name is Deron Stamps. We're here at Stamps Quarter Horses, where I own and operate a breeding facility and train horses. We're here today to do a short video about haltering, leading, grooming, hoof picking, and mane pulling. This is my son, Aiden Stamps, who will be helping me today. So let's go to one more horse and stop. This is one of my barrel horses. Her name is Mississippi Tristan. Uh oh. She knocked my hat off, which that's okay. She is a five year old mare, and this is the house we will be using on her today. It's a nylon houser. This is the crown of the houser, the nose piece, cheek piece, throat latch. A lot of people like to take the throat latch to loose to put the house on. But I love to take the crown loose. You always have to make sure the horse is secure. You get your lead rope. Side of it. Take the lead rope, get it with your hands and hold it, make sure it's secure. Let me turn around so y'all can see. Okay. Take the nose band, put it over the nose, get the crown, connect it back together. You don't want it too tight or you don't want it too loose. You want it where you can be able to get hands in it where you control if you have to. Now it's leading the horse out. You get the lead rope, left hand, your right hand, and the excess in your left hand. We go down to the trailer to secure a while we grow them. In grooming a horse, you have several different types of utensils you have to use. We have a brush that has real hard brittle bristles. bristles. We have another brush where the bristles are real firm. We have a steel curry cone. This is another type of curry cone, which I don't like it too much. <clears throat> we have two different soft brushes. This uh, brush have firm, it's firm, but it's soft. This brush, as you can tell, is real soft. This brush right here is used for the face. And you all can use it on the legs. But this brush right here is, you know, just main the body, do not use it for the face. <clears throat> we will start off with the brush with the more firm bristles. You brush your horse off. Even though my horses don't kick, I love to touch the back of them on their rear and let them know I'm coming to the other side. For safety precautions, don't never stand directly behind a horse. 
I kind of did that backwards, but I did it backwards for a reason. To show you with the brush that has the summer bristles, also does the same thing as the curry cone. It breaks up the dirt just as good, just in case you don't have one. But you're supposed to start with the curry cone first. <clears throat> then we move to my other brush. Well, the bristles not as firm, but you know, it's they soft, but it's not as firm as the other one. This one gets all the dirt and crumbs that the caracomb or the hard bristle brush brought to the surface. Then we'll go to the next brush. You see these bristles are soft, way softer than the other brush I had. This brush really mainly, you know, just go over what you done did and kind of bring all the oil and the horse's skin out. Mm. As you can see with this brush, the horse's coat starting to look a little bit more shiny. Next is my truly soft brush. I mainly use this brush for the face, but it also can be used for the legs. And you know, if you want to do anything else over the body with it, just you can. But I mainly use it for her face because, you know, you can't really, you know, use it for legs and face and, you know, affect the face there because of eyes. Eyes are very sensitive. So you take the brush to her face, just kind of brush around. Do the same on the other side. Make sure all the dirt and crud is off her face. Next, we will go to picking the horse hooves. You have different kinds of hoof picks. This hoof pick right here is a unique. You know, I got it from Track Supply, I think. But, you know, this is very common. This hoof pick has the brush to it. A lot of people like this one. This is your standard one, 98 cents. You can buy this one at any place to sell horse supplies, track supply, in a store like that. First of all, I'm going to use your standard one and the one with the brush. All horses should be taught to pick up their legs so you can pick their feet. You just simply rub your hands down and bam, she'll pick it up. You take the brush, brush it out. This little V-shaped area right here, staying in the middle is called a frog. You got to be very careful with the frog. Because it's sensitive to their feet. Once you brush it, you can kind of pick it. Come back. 
and brush out again. Clean. Picking horses' feet are very, very important. Feet should be at least picked out, I say, once a day. Some people say once a week. I say once a day. Because no feet, no horse. Rule, that's a rule. Same thing on the back. Like I say, she got shoes on. But as you can tell, she threw the front shoe. One the front <clears throat> Like I say, be careful around that V-shaped area of the frog. As you can tell, I go in a pattern. I started from the front, I come back to the other side to the front. Brush them out. Pick around the frog. Like I say, it's very sensitive, so make sure you be careful. Rule, no feet. No horse. Be careful around that frog. <clears throat> and folks, that's leading, haltering, grooming, and picking the horse who goes out. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will come back with more. Thank you.